Right, we're here with head coach Julie Fultz, junior Deja Thornton, and senior Grace Throat after Transylvania with the heart-stopping win to move on to the Elite Eight, 63-58 over Mary Harden Baylor. Coach, tell us about that win. Yeah, um, you know, that was a great battle. That was two really good teams uh, that played different styles and you know, I thought we did a good job a lot of the game of trying to dictate towards our style. They certainly moved the game in their favor in the fourth quarter and did a great job getting out in transition and finding some transition baskets and getting a ton of offensive rebounds. Um, and honestly, thankfully, we had built up enough, re you know, built up a lead that gave us a little bit of a cushion when uh, they made a huge surge down the stretch. I think that's the largest team I've ever seen in Division II basketball with so much size. Just you should have seen wing. Southern Virginia. <laughs> well, that's true. They, they grow up big there, too. Yeah. Deja, you played such a big role. What was that like to go against that size? Um, I don't really think of it as anything different. I just play the game how I've been used to playing, and I just you know try to help the team out. <laughs> they keep going, and we're winning. Is that the second tallest TV? I know you played Eastern Kentucky. Were they all yeah. huge too, I imagine? Um, we played probably five teams that have been pretty big this year, and that has been a huge help for us. You know, we talked about before the game that the games in Canada, they were very big. You know, they were all Division One teams up there. Um, and then EKU, and, you know, so we've seen a bunch of size and athleticism. And I thought those games are really what prepared us for today because the, you know, we haven't seen really that kind of pressure on our ball handlers since we were probably in Canada and EKU. Talk to me about the response there at the end. That is the most excited I think I've ever seen a team <laughs> for winning a Sweet 16 game when they've got another game the next day. <laughs> we well, you guys take that. We take every game, yeah. like one at a time. Okay. So we're excited for each win, yeah. and then we get ready for the next one. And in fairness, I didn't watch your other two games, no. so maybe you celebrated <laughs> like that then too. <laughs> They're a big celebration group. <laughs> I was going to say, there's always something to celebrate. Yeah. <laughs> Grace, you were one of the team members. You're, yourself and Grace Bringer were here in the previous Week 16. What does this mean to you as a senior moving on to the Elite Eight and eclipsing that mark? Oh, it's so exciting. Like, it's like, the, I can't imagine a better way of like going out, you know. And it's kind of ironic, you know, first year here, went to the Sweet 16, and now my, now my senior year going to the Elite Eight. I prefer this than the freshman year, though. <laughs> Coach, let's talk about the fourth quarter. Yeah. As we mentioned of that, Crusaders came back point-wise, took that 25-13. What did you tell the team to keep them focused on just getting to the end? Yeah, you know, I have a lot of faith in them. Um, and so, you know, they, they're they able to do a lot of things. I mean, there were some clutch possessions that we found some shots down low. And, you know, we haven't, outside of what we simulate in practice, you know, we haven't been in a lot of those moments, and we tried to spend a lot of time on that this week and get through some situational stuff, and I thought that helped us, but there's certainly a lot of uh, room for improvement. I thought, you know, one of the areas we'll talk about a lot tomorrow is we just did not do a great job in the defensive transition in the fourth quarter, and that gave some, some looks and led to some rebounds that hopefully we can clean up a little bit. Was fatigue a factor at all? I'm sure it was. <laughs> you know, I, I thought Maddie and Kennedy, I mean, they took a lot of contact all night. You know, it was a really physical right. game. And, yeah. um, you know, I thought that that played in their favor. They, you know, we didn't have some of the best moments um, on a few possessions. But, uh, you know, they've been there before. And they, they're great leaders. Um, and so there's a part of them that's all new for all of these guys in terms of being in big moments. But they're a competitive group that, they, you know, their biggest strength all year is they believe in each other and they're just willing to keep going when things don't go right. Um, we have a try again mentality and so we try to train that and practice that. If something doesn't happen, you know, it's just next play and, um, and thankfully the clock ran out. <laughs> Deja, let's talk about offensive rebounds. You had eight tonight with six in the first half. How do you think that played out in part of this Pioneer win? You know, whenever anyone gets an offensive rebound, we like to celebrate it because we get to continue our possession and pretty much run the clock out and to control our offense. So me getting those offensive boards and just set us up for another chance to score some more points. And luckily that turned out good for us. <laughs> Coach, did you have a chance to watch any of the first half? I, I watched the first half. You know, we, um, we spent 
a lot of the week trying to be prepared for both games. Um, so we, we watched the first half to try to get a sense of what we thought we saw on film. Um, and I didn't see much in the second half. So we'll go back, we'll watch that. Uh, you know, we think we have a game plan ready to go, and so we'll, we'll kind of readjust and go again. I just one last question. Just talk about the environment here. I was yeah. talking in the, in the during the broadcast. This is something that maybe ten of the four hundred and thirty something Division Three women's basketball programs have. Maybe yeah. even fewer than that. You had your own cheering section before. The game. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that. Before. Um, so talk to that's probably as, a good thing. As coaches, as players, uh, uh, what it's like to play in front of that crowd. Yeah, I mean, it was it was just amazing, and that's I'm so I'm so proud of them, and I'm so thankful for the community. We have a great president, and athletic director. And they worked really, really hard all week um, to help make sure that this was going to be a, a just amazing event for everybody. And you know, when we went to Thomas More four years ago, it was sold out, and we had half the side, and they had the other half, and it was very similar. And I've heard Grace tell the freshmen all year about that experience and what that was like and how amazing it was. And so to be able to do that on our court, uh, you know, you don't know how all those games when you play and schedule Thompson and John Carroll will play out. Um, but when you can find ways to win them all, you can put yourself in this position. And, and that's credit to them for showing up every game to get here today. Grace, you were in that Thomas Moore game in this one. What was it like to play this one at home? Uh, it's, I mean, the Vec Center. Who wouldn't want to play in the Vec Center? <laughs> I would much choose that any day. Um, it's just, it was so exciting. I remember just like looking over at the bench and I was just like, as like you see the crowd like clapping and stuff, and I was like, this is amazing. Like this in itself is exciting that like, we have people that want to come and watch us play, like in something that we love to do, and like people love to watch us. And it's like I, I love that we can do that for people, and I love that they can do that for us. Thank you. We'll wrap it up here so you can go get focused on the, the next win. Transylvania winners moving on to the Elite Eight for the first time in school history. Winners tonight over Mary Hard Baylor by a score of 63-58. Congratulations, and we'll see you back here at the Beck at 6 p.m. Thank you. Thank you. Fun fact about Grace.